Things are never quite what they seem. We think we understand the world around us, but we really only see the outside, what it seems to be. I used to be just like you. I believed in humanity, the newspapers, soap commercials, politics, and history books. But one day, the world kicks you in the teeth, and you don't have any choice but to see things the way they really are. My name is Lucas Kane. My story is the one where an ordinary guy has something extraordinary happen to him. Maybe it was supposed to happen. Maybe it was my destiny or my karma or whatever. I know one thing for sure. Nothing's ever going to be the same again. It all started right here. Where else could it happen? New York, capital of the universe. The chessboard destiny chose for the last big game. I was just another pawn living my pawn's life. Until that night, when my life descended into chaos. What have I done? I... I didn't want... It was like a dream. Quick. I... 
I've, I've got to get out of here but before somebody comes in here. All right. If I can remember. Oh, shit. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No. Come on. Get, get the... Get the dude. Get the... Oh, my God. Why won't it... Oh, okay. There we go. Okay. Hold on. Come on. Come on. That shit. <laughs> like, oh, I'm supposed to keep going up. Okay, that was on me. Okay, now there's a knife. There's a knife right there. Uh, knife. The knife. I've got to get rid of it. Get out this way. All right, so we all good, homie. Let go. Why is it like that? Eat, uh, 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 eat that shit. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, um. I don't know if I'm giving myself way more. Uh, 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 pay that shit. Yeah, pay that shit. Pay that shit. Alright, now, uh, uh, get up. And let's go. This is hard to control like a motherfucker. It's. I can remember last. Go on, my boy. Get out of this neighborhood before the police get here. I know, right? You got. Figure out where to go. I don't even know. Go, taxi? Taxi. <sighs> yes. Nobody goes anywhere. A crime has just been committed. I'm going to have to ask you to stay calm and wait here for the police to arrive and check your IDs. Doc's dining. That's it. Why do they always wait for me to go on duty before they start killing each other in the middle of the night? Tyler, somebody gets murdered every day in New York. But especially when I'm on night duty. It's as if every psycho in the city has it in for me. If you want a bitch, do it inside. That way I don't have to freeze to death listening to it. <laughs> You're the boss, Carla. In five years on the force, I've seen some murders. But you never really get used to death. You just learn to live with it, that's all. I still don't know if it was fatigue, cold, or something else. But I clearly remember the bad feeling I got when I walked into that restaurant. 
as if some part of me already knew that this time, something was different. How's it going, McCarthy? Evening, Inspector. I've been waiting for you. Hey, Tyler. Hey, Martin. So, what happened? Homicide. I found the body in the toilets. I had to go before I went home. Do we have a suspect? A client left just before I found the body. How was the victim killed? With a blade, from what I could gather. But we should wait for the autopsy. Which table was the suspect sitting at? Oh, he was sitting at that table over there. Is that the waitress over there? Yeah, Kate Morrison. I think that you should interrogate her. If you don't mind me saying, go easy on her, Inspector. She's still in a state of shock. Thanks for your help, Martin. It's late. I think you can go home and get some sleep. I'm gonna wait until you're finished with Kate, if you don't mind. I want to make sure she gets home okay. All right, yo, so <clears throat> we can um, switch partners. That's a good thing I like about that, I can switch between uh, the two. And I got to try to get as much information as possible, even though I like my boy. <sighs> and it's a little bit hard to get used to the controls a little bit, because remember, the camera angles were, like, weird back then. So we were used to it back then. Like, now they fixed all that shit, so we're not used to it now. But... I'm gonna go ahead and do my best. I, should I switch though? Hmm. I like Tyler. He's cool. Hmm. I'm gonna switch. Uh, I'm gonna switch. Man, he is tall. It's, it, to me, it's lagging a little bit. Is it? Huh. All right. Let me be quiet. My partner's going to take your statement soon, ma'am. It shouldn't take too long. Thanks. Just what exactly are you doing, Tyler? I'm checking for clues. What do you think? Do you know if anyone has contacted the family? Not as far as I know. Oh, right. I get it. I'll take care of it. Bizarre. What? Well, he still has his credit card and a hundred bucks in cash on it. I guess the killer wasn't after his money. I've been drinking to try and stay awake. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to do it there. All right, so I don't see anything that he can look up. Maybe she can. So let's go. Blood on the mop. The killer must have used it to clean up the mess. Why would he risk getting caught to do that? Why is there blood here? Did you find anything? 
Possibly. I don't understand why there would be blood here. Maybe it belongs to the victim. Not likely. Get Garrett to analyze it. Then we'll know for sure. Several wounds on the left side of the chest, in the area of the heart. They appear to be knife wounds. No trace of a struggle. Looks like the guy was taken totally by surprise. Stab some dude in the toilets? You gotta be crazy. This guy took a big risk. Anybody could have walked in here and surprised him. A table knife covered in blood. Obviously the blood. The killer used his silverware to stab his victim? That would seem to indicate that the murder wasn't premeditated. Tyler, there's a knife hidden here. It might be the murder weapon. Get Garrett. Make sure he checks for prints and identifies the blood on the blade. Okay. Alright, that seems to be all that I can do around here. This, it's hard to control them. It's like they keep moving even after you stop. See, like, right there. And I stopped controlling her. Still moved. It's like a little it like a movement. Thing. But yeah, or a psycho. This town is let's keep on. Psychos. They're everywhere. When I was in the Bronx, I saw guys who'd rip your guts out and hand them to you just so they can take your shoes. Tyler, can you shut up? cup of coffee and a soft drink? That's weird. He's a caffeine addict, or else he wasn't alone. Gotta remember to check with the waitress on that. A book. The Tempest by Shakespeare. If this is his, it's a pretty weird book for a killer to be reading. Garrett, there's a book under this table. Why don't you check it out for Prince? You got it, Carla. Coffee's not on the bill. Traces of blood. The killer was at this table. He came back and sat down after the murder. Garrett, there are traces of blood in this booth. Okay, I'll go take a look. made her a little maybe I made her a little too good ah, damn it Kate I'm inspector Carla Valenti I'm in charge of the investigation here would you mind answering a few questions no go ahead have you been working here long, Kate? It'll be 11 years next month. I've seen all sorts in this place, down and out as junkies, you name it. The till's been robbed a few times, but murder? That's a new one. Poor Johnny was such a nice guy. Did you know the victim well? John was a regular. 
Came every Monday. He always ordered the same thing and I left a nice tip. What was he like, Kate? Do you think you could describe him for me? I only saw him for a few seconds. I guess he was about average height, fairly young. That's all I can remember. What was the man doing before the murder happened? He was there for a while. He was reading, I think. That book under the table, it must have been his. Was John here alone? Did he speak with anyone? John always came alone. We chatted a bit. The weather, his job, the usual stuff. He never talked to anybody else. Did you get the impression that John and the suspect knew each other? No. I don't think they did know each other. The man had already been here a while when John came in. They didn't talk to each other. No, I'm, I'm almost certain that John didn't know him. There was a cup of coffee on his table. Do you remember whether he was the one who ordered it? A cup of coffee? No. No, I'm certain he, he didn't order any coffee. Was there anyone else sitting at a table? That's strange. I, I can't really remember. I remember him very clearly, but I'm not sure if he was with anyone or not. Can you tell me what you saw? There weren't that many people tonight. It's usually pretty calm during the week. I was just chatting with Martin at the bar. I didn't even see John get up. Oh my god. Kate, try to pull yourself together. You are our main witness, so I'm really going to need your help. My shift was almost over. I was just chatting with Martin at the bar. John got up and went to the restroom. The man must have followed him, and then he must have snuck out afterwards because I didn't even see him leave. What happened next? Martin went to the restroom, and that's when he found John. Did you happen to notice anything strange about John tonight? Did he seem worried or stressed out? No. He was just like he always is. He even made a joke when he came in. Do you think that you would recognize the suspect? I'll never forget that face. Perfect. Do you think that you could come down to the station tomorrow and help us construct a likeness of the killer? Yeah. I'll do whatever you think I can to help catch him. Thank you very much for your help, Kate. I hope you find the bastard who did it. People like that just don't deserve to live. I promise you, we'll do everything in our power to find him. Go home now and try to get some sleep. Martin will make sure you get home okay. so fast it's hard to make a decision <laughs> good night Hey, Garrett. Hey, Frank. How's it going? Hey, Carla. Hey, Carla. So, you guys find anything? We took some samples here and there. We're almost finished. We were just waiting for you before we took the body away. Alright. Let's get ready to get out of here. I felt like I could have did better, but it's so fast with the, with the options. <laughs> Did you find anything, Tyler? For well, that, I'd have to be able to keep my eyes open. Keep up the good work, Tyler. 
Tyler's been my partner for almost a year. He grew up with the gangs in the Bronx before he decided to join the force. Sometimes he's unpredictable, but he's a good guy. You ready to go, Tyler? I think I've seen everything I need to see. Are you sure? We can take another look around if you want. No, we're good. Let's head home. Okay, let's bust. It's time to get back to the car. I'm dead tired. Blood. Killer is wounded. Good evening, sir. Whoa! <laughs> hey, uh, babe. <laughs> what can I do for you? Someone was killed in that restaurant tonight. Did you happen to see anything or anyone unusual? Did I see something? Huh. I don't see nothing. I mind my own business. You know, uh, you really shouldn't be outside tonight. It's freezing cold. If you want, I could have him come and pick you up and... Oh, leave me alone! I'm just fine. I don't need nobody. Okay, I'm gonna go. Try to get someplace warm. Take care of yourself. I saw someone! Uh, or rather, something. Nobody remembers him, but I saw him. I saw him come out the back door. Uh, it was evil. The devil himself. What did he look like? Can you describe him? Uh, who? Uh, who? You drink too much, baby. You, you, you're talking nonsense. <laughs> Nonsense. <laughs> That dude know what's up. He knows something. He knows something. But I'm pretty sure she cold. Let's take her back home. I wasn't dreaming. It all really happened. I, I'm gonna get ready and go to work. Oh, my head. It feels like 
Somebody shoved a steel bar in my brain and then melted it. Gotta make it stop. The sheets are full of blood. I can't go back to bed. I'm not tired anyway. Yeah, but don't you know how to make up your bed? Dang. <laughs> this will hide the blood in case anyone comes in the room. I'll change the sheets later. That should help my migraine. Notice reads, don't take with alcohol. Hey, you're listening to KWN 605, and it's now time for the weather flash. Yeah, who cares? All right, this book. Thus spoke Zarathustra by Nietzsche. I've read it so many times, I know half of it by heart. If I could remember right. My parents, Marcus and me, before the accident. Man, that's an old ass picture. <laughs> kind of brought him down a little bit. Try not to bring him down so much. That's good to know. It's good to know, but nobody cares. <laughs> no one cares. Alright, so let's go. Um... Dang, it's kind of hard to control this thing. Well, honestly, it's hard to control. Just f f answer that later. Let me go uh, wash and stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna. I ain't even gonna lie, that legit scared me too. I know there's like some clothes. in there we don't turn them on take a piss pissing always makes you feel better see it made you feel better okay wait a minute do, do. Okay, 
here before we even go towards that door. Because I, if I can remember right, the police are going to try to come after my ass. Wait a minute, let's go put some clothes on. What's that? What's that? Oh no, I don't care about that. See, New I York told police. you. Please open the door. Kind of fucked. Hey, what's that? Stay where you are and put your hands in the air. These images in my head. I, I must be losing my mind. Clothes on, man. Put some clothes on. I sucked at that earlier. <laughs> I forgot it does that. The body of a man was discovered in the restroom of an East End restaurant. The victim was stabbed several times with a steak knife. While just yards away, other customers were calmly eating their meals. Investigators are already on the trail of a suspect who fled the scene just before the body was discovered. Police have no other comment for the time being, but stay tuned for updates into this. I'm sorry to make you wait like that. I, I was in the shower. Are you Lucas Kane? Yes. Mr. Kane, the neighbors heard yelling from your apartment. Is there a problem? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was me. I cut myself on some broken glass and I freaked out a little. Fortunately, it wasn't a really big deal. Would it be all right if I took a little look around your apartment? Whatever. Go ahead. What happened to your wrist, sir? I told you I had a stupid accident with some broken glass. Holy cow. When you cut yourself, you go all the way, don't you? Thank you for your cooperation. Uh, sorry to have bothered you, sir. You know how it is. With everything that's been going on, uh, we prefer to be careful. I understand. Long, Mr. Kane. If 
still trying to figure out what the fuck was that key for. <laughs> Massacre in East End Restaurant. An especially horrible murder was committed last night in the restroom of a local restaurant. The killer... Let's not make your boy depressed. Alright, let me get this on. Stay ringing. Hello? Lucas, it's good to hear from you. I thought I'd call to find out if maybe you wanted to go to Mom and Dad's tomb together. And, to be honest, I thought it might be a good excuse to get back in touch with you. I need to see you, Marcus. I'm in big trouble. What are you talking about, Lucas? What happened? I can't really talk about it on the telephone. It's serious, Marcus. I'll meet you in half an hour at the park. See you there. Yesterday, at 7.30 p.m. Lucas, it's Tiffany. I thought maybe I'd pop over tomorrow night after I leave the hospital and pick up a few things. Well, call me back. 